everybody. I'm a Nick. I'm amazed. Look at the words. I see the words. Yeah. And welcome back to Spyro yeah. Reignited. Yeah. Before we begin, follow the gif. Do what it says. It's you new. will make me it's a happier person. It's pretty. Well, it, it'll be new enough at this point. This is like three episodes in. Anywho, on the last episode, we started going through some magical stuff. Also, it's power getting high. We're on our way to get high, baby. It's the high case. Even though, I'm like, I'm pretty much the only person in my family that doesn't have any involvement in weed. Um. Well, most of my family doesn't. I know my dad did when he was younger, but not now. I don't know anything if my mom did or not. My dad has told me stories, though. Drunk and high stories. Oh, boy. Oh. Also, are they fighting? Yes. The ice wizards <laughs> are fighting the wind wizards. We're just going to go this way. Hello, creepy I'm going to go this way. <coughs> <coughs> Do they have, like, you. armor on their... Uh... I just don't want to deal with them because they're spiders. If it's a video game, I can handle them, no problem. But if it's real life, ah, get that shit away from me. I just hate spiders. But then again, even if I don't like spiders, I've, I'll still at least have the guts to get a shoe and squish the shit out of them. Yeah, I still get have the guts to squish their guts. Oops. Was there was one time, there was one in our bathroom that was based on pretty much the size of my thumb here. <laughs> oh. And I had to grab a boot for that one, so... Yeah. Nope. Oh, I, I see what they want me to do here. Y oh, it's gonna, this bullshit? You gonna do the thing, buddy? Thanks. Yeah, get out of here. You get out of here, you jerk. Cyrus. Is it Miley Cyrus or Billy Ray Cyrus? I'm gonna uh, go with Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> they insist on moving everything. So the day the first Spyro video comes out, I will likely have bought both Room Factory 4 Special and the Zero ZX collection and fucking hell. Anyway, if you didn't play Room Factory 4 on the 3DS, uh, I don't know if it's also 60 frames per second on Switch, but at the very least, Please buy Rune Factory 4 special so you can support Marvelous with creating Rune Factory 5. Uh huh. That's been in development for quite a while. Fuck it. I mostly say that because I really like Rune Factory 4 on 3DS. So Wait a minute. that's just me being a plug. Wait a minute. Uh, you burn have to burn a hidden, a hidden painting. painting. Okay. So the painting is made of weed and we are going to smoke it. All this treasure. Uh, is that the hidden painting? <laughs> it <laughs> is. That was convenient. I wonder if that was a picture of Nasty Nork. No, it looked like a picture of a dragon. What are you? They're like, hi, come jump Wait. to your deaths. Wait. They're waving to me. Anyway, grab that shit first, and run into those, and maybe, I don't know, collect a dragon? No, collect him. Ajax! Oh man, um, see the villain in Deadpool? <laughs> That's funny. Although it's been a long time since I've watched that movie. Oh, I borrowed my brother's Blu-ray. They do have armor. <laughs> Which means you've got to supercharge them? Uh-huh. Anyway, I borrowed my brother's Blu-ray to watch uh, Deadpool 2. That's such a good movie. I really like the ending. Freaking, not, well, not the ending, but that, that scene where Deadpool is dying, quote-unquote. Come on, just, just say fuck for me one time, please. Please, that's all I ask, just say fuck for me one time. Look, I'll say it with you. F fuck And then he just goes... Fuck. It's like, oh, he said it. Did you hear that? He said it. <laughs> oh, you missed one. Yep. You missed two. Oh, you know what? What? Do you think you could start a supercharge from this hill? No. There have to be arrows on the ground. Gotcha. But I'm wondering if it's this level or another level where there's like a secret beyond 
Ow. And you have to do a super jump for it. Supercharged jump. Mm-hmm. Oh. Also, there's a gem there. you missed. I can't get there from here. Uh-oh. <coughs> I don't think you were high enough. Hey. Reigniting. I'm going to die a lot on this stage, I feel like. Probably. Oh, cool. At least I'm back here. That's cool. Mm, spider. Yeah, you need to, you need to super de-arachnify this place. I would like all of them to be dead. You can at the very least miss the first one, but you need to hit the other two wherever they are. Okay, you hit that one. So you're only missing one. Yes. If I recall, they like when they see me in their room, they're gonna like charge me down. At least they don't like fucking silk wrap you up. No, they just hurt immensely. There he is. Oh, he's stuck. Neat. That's good. I can't. Hopefully, I, he I couldn't that actually. Way. Oh, there. Yeah, he's stuck. Oh. I'm. That's unfortunate. Oh Jesus. <laughs> you can take. You can take a few hits. You're fine. You're fine. Don't oh, touch him. He's spooky. Yeah. I mean, we're we are grown ass adults. I fucking hate spiders. I don't give a shit what you say. As long as they ain't in real life, I couldn't give a shit. I just hate spiders. Always. Don't tell me there's more up here. That's uh, okay. no, it's just a wizard. Oh, there's one more spider. Hmm. Anywho. Hmm. What I fucking hated back in the day was in Ocarina of Time. Fucking wall masters. Oh, that bothered you? Yes. Okay, I absolutely hated the concept of something Get coming fucked. from nowhere. I mean, I kept grabbing you. I always paid attention to the shadows. So I was like, oh, you're going to try to get me, but I know you're coming. <laughs> I got you. But also the sound they make when they were falling also did to not. be fair, I never really played most of Ocarina of Time until I was later in life. I played it when I was younger. Like, when it was brand fucking new. Hmm. Interesting, how am I gonna get up there? So, there's that. Uh, uh, and keep in mind, when Ocarina of Time came out in like, what, 97? I was six. So I think you could understand a six-year-old being terrified of freaking could... wall masters in 3D. How about Redeads? Those didn't freak me out as much. And really because I had the sun song to stun them. That's why I wasn't as afraid of them. Seems reasonable. Oh, hello. I do not know what they do. Hello. Will you catch me if I fall? Try to fire breathe on them when you... Oh, they do rescue I you. I vaguely remembered that, so I wasn't super sure. I think... Oh. Oh, thanks. That was actually really helpful. This is where I wanted to be. All right. Ah, uh, shit. Here we go again. <gasps> Damn it. I don't think I can get up there with the supercharge. I have to kill them another way. Maybe with the wizard? I don't know. I have no fucking idea what these fireworks do other than They're just give gems. Yeah, they just give you gems. Those ones. You'll see, like, a fire... Like, a singular firework perched on something. That'll be one that blows up another chest. Gotcha. Also, there's an asshole. There's a few conundrums over there. That's the start of the level. Ah, I see. Okay. Is it time to get rescued again? No, I'm just going to go up here. Ah, super jump time. <gasps> Is this? No, that's just a chest. At least you don't have to supercharge that one. Oh, no, I've fallen. And I can't get up. Thanks, ladies. Oh, you even turned me around the right way. How thoughtful. Damn it. Oh, wait, I came from there one time. Never mind, I don't need to go back that way. Ladies! Just it's suddenly. Ladies! I had no issues with anything in Mario 64. <gasps> I do remember that. Not even the boo level scared me. That's actually not the start of the level. I realize that now. I'm gonna go back. Whee! 
Oh, there's another egg thief over here. You gotta burn both the bastards. Oh, he's just really, gonna... really. This is this is your stick. This this is really your stick. You could just go I that think you way. You just have to position well enough, and then just jump. You can just do that, yeah. But like, really, that's your stick. Yarp. Although when we first got our N64, I did not start out with Mario 64. I actually started out with Mario Kart 64 and Wave Race 64. Wave Race. Which, by the way, the intro music for every episode is actually the title part of the title theme from uh, oh, fuck. Wave Race. So there's a fun little factoid. Oh, neat! I didn't actually know that. Huh. Yeah, oh, I just thought it was nice. fun to use. Maybe one of these days I'll actually commission a piece when I have a, of some extra money lying around or something. Hey. You son of a bitch, I'm gonna kill you! Oh, where, where are you going? You're turning too fast! All gems? Nope. 500 gems again, wow. Loads of oh. money. Any more gems in here? Nope. Although shortly after we started out with uh, well, I'm just Mario Kart and Wave Race, uh, we did get Mario 64 shortly after. Because pretty much if you're an N64 owner, you usually have Mario 64 not far behind it. Although I think you're probably like one of the few people who, I don't recall you owning Son Mario 64. No, I've never owned Mario 64. Remember, that's why you said you were going to get me to play it for the channel? That's right. Son of a bitch is actually going to make me chase him. He went back up the ramp. The, not the ramp. Yeah, the, up the wall. Um. Wait, what the fuck? Um. Game? Um. Oh, uh, no. No. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? I know, right? God damn it! You okay. what an asshole! Okay. There you go. Got him. Okay. But we all saw that. No one can deny that that happened. Uh, and something I never told during my Paper Mario Let's Play was I actually first played it via video rental stores. And it's not like Blockbuster or anything, it was like a local one. There might be another... <gasps> oh, what a bitch. You're an asshole. I think you have to hit that guy. <laughs> to make it go away. <laughs> also, that guy's an asshole. At some point, I have to actually kill these... Who the fuck are you? Thanks. Oh! <gasps> Got it. I forgot this was a power in the first game. That's cool. I look so cool. Look at me. I look so fu arachnophobe. I am an arachnophobe. <laughs> I look so fucking cool. Is there even a key in this level? No. Okay, you're just missing shit. Yeah. 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 This is, oh, that's a five. All right, we're missing five somewhere. Mm. Might want to go back into those caves. All right, Sparks. Just in case. Hang. That away. Anyway, as I was saying, Paper Mario rental stores. I'm trying to remember the name of the fucking place. But it was a case of, say, you're in downtown Sebastopol and you're going out towards Santa Rosa. Found it. Oh, it's a it's a paint shop there now. But that's also, but that v rental place was how I experienced like Paper Mario, some of the other Mario, p N64 Mario parties, and eventually Smash Brothers and Luigi's Mansion. Although I eventually ordered my own copy of Paper Mario online and that's how I have it now. <coughs> I also did that when I, for a second I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, uh, I was trying to hit the portal. 
Anywho, ordering some shit. Woo! That's a lot of money. So I got a Super Nintendo for ridiculously cheap from the Santa Rosa Computer Recycling Center off of Santa Rosa Avenue. Yeah. So the first games I ordered for it were Super Mario World. Fun. That's a fun game. Final Fantasy III, a.k.a. six, and Earthbound. Ooh, Earthbound. And at the time, it was not the price it is now. I think I ordered it for wow. like sixty dollars. Jesus, it's it it's now? over that now. It's at least oh, past one fifty for the original Earthbound. Yep. Damn. Yeah, it's kind of expensive, I'm even with the surprised. digital re-releases. It is a classic. Also, did not sell very well here in the U.S. That's sad because of some poor marketing choices. No. Also, it's time to fly. Rings. At least you have better flight controls. Yes. Oh, I forgot it was reverse. I think you fucked it. I forgot it was um reverse whatever it's called. Invert? Yes, thank you. Oops. Oops is right. That is not something I did, by the way. I know, it's just natural like that. I remember we couldn't change it before. I mean, but, you fucked it anyway. Yeah, that's fair. I was going to say, I don't know what I hit there for that to happen. Anyway, let's try that again, shall Burn we? Everything. And then my brother got a bunch of different racing games for the N64 as well. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them Woo! is this uh, arcade port. Uh, it's called fucking... Off-Road Challenge. I take it you've heard of that one before? Sounds kind of familiar, but it just sounds very vague. It has, like, monster trucks and stuff that you race. It's not like it's uh, anything super complicated. It. Oh, no, I fucked it. Nick, we I didn't fucked get it. the rhythm. Wait. Wait, wait, can I salvage it? Oh, no, I fucked it. I fucked it. <laughs> I think you were supposed to go planes, then chests? Uh, they were. I don't remember around. the order. I could start with the planes. They give you three seconds per. That might be... We may have fucked it, I don't know. Ah, uh, I'm just winging it. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure. I know I missed one. Oh, I missed two. You missed three planes. I missed three. Anywho. Uh, there's another racing game we have. I don't remember what it is. Also, uh, uh, we have the N64 port of Quake. Ooh, neat. And the multiplayer for that is only two player. Oh, that's sad. It also doesn't have all the levels that, that Quake should have. But I didn't know it at the time, but the only way I ever played that game was by cheating with God Mode. Yeah. Because at, at the password screen, you just input Q, 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 I press the X button to glide again. I had a lot of seconds that time. And that activates debug mode, so you can start with like all weapons, activate God Mode, start wherever the fuck you want, that sort of thing. And I actually tried playing Quake again recently without the god mode stuff, and I'm like, well, not only am I still shit at shooters, but also holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I... The controls are just, what am I doing, man? What am I doing with my life? What am I fighting for? Also, FPS controls before twin sticks on consoles. Oh, yeah. That must have been fun, I bet. Especially since the N64 only has a single joystick and C buttons. I don't know about you, but I had another joystick when I was playing. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I, was I mean, too it's young just a dick joke. I know, but I was too young to understand what that joystick meant. Yeah. I'm aware I, I'm aware I left that plane. All right, you bitch. Because now you're in for this asshole. Now, now where's the last chest? 
Do I need to pull more chests? Yeah, you're missing I a chest. I went around the wrong way. Good job, dipshit. <gasps> I don't think I can get there in time, Nick. Good job, asshole. I have to actually let it. Surf's up, asshole. Surf's up, asshole. Apparently that's a song. Oh, I got him that time. Ooh. Nice. I don't really have any other shooters for N64. That, that's, those are the only ones I actually own. Well, the only one I mainly own, Quake. Although I do remember there were quite a few multiplayer levels in N64 Quake. I don't know what it was I played. I have a fond memory of a game that was rented. It was either Quake or... Um, it's a game like Quake, something Arena. No, something. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. Because Quake Three was called Quake Three Arena, but that was yeah, not on the N sixty four. It was not Quake. I know that. And I also, it wasn't. I didn't play it on the N sixty four. I played it on PlayStation. Gotcha. Quake Three Arena might have been on PlayStation. I don't. But remember. it was another game like Quake, except there was like a raptor you could play as and I did it by the way that time I nice. did it way faster oh, sick fuck one of the characters you could play as was legit like a velociraptor in a first person shooter game you could just play as him uh, I know dinosaurs has like Turok also we don't need to do this yeah, shit again I, I hit the um yeah <coughs> I don't fucking remember it's a fond memory I have. It's a first-person shooter game. Plays kind of like Quake. It had a story mode similar to Twisted Metal in that, like, the levels were always the same no matter who you played as. Um, but obviously, you were just playing as different characters. Twisted Still, Metal. playing as a Velociraptor sounds fucking awesome. Yeah, in a first-person shooter game, just like, you know, I'm a Velociraptor. I don't have guns. I just... <laughs> don't fucking remember and it's driving me nuts i've no like I've, it's something that's bothered me for a long period of time in my life because i was a kid and i can definitely tell you the game was not within my age rating so i'm pretty sure that um quake was definitely not within my age rating i tell you yeah. fucking that for sure so i'm not the one who rented the game i had to uh, have it rented for me and by that i mean my brothers rented it and i watched them play the it luxury of it. older siblings am i right yep Anywho, we should probably cut this episode here. I agree. Anywho, on today's episode of uh, Spyro Reignited, not only we play a lot more levels, but also trips down memory lane of games we probably shouldn't have played as blowhard. Yeah, that's the next boss. Yeah, anyway, trip down memory lane. And our next episode, we're probably going to wrap this place up. We're going to do Wizard Peak and then blowhard. We're gonna blow so, hard on Wizard Peak. Or the Wizard Peak dude is blowing hard. We're gonna blow hard Wizard Peak. And before we. Before the episode actually ends, you will follow the GIF. You will make me happy as the channel holder. Yes. yes. Anywho, I'm a Nick. I'm Sean. And we'll see you guys next time.